I am once again asking you to grind your Elder Kai's. How's it everybody, Celtic Link here, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video we are going over all of the available Kai's in the Full of Energy Exciting Autumn Campaign. That is the Dokkan Festival Tech Pan Campaign that's currently out on Global right now. And you'd be surprised, there's actually about 15 Kai's available for you to grind assuming you haven't grinded anything out yet. So we're going to go ahead and hop in. We're going to start with the log in bonuses. Now this time around, it doesn't look like there are any Elder Kai's via log in bonuses. However, there are two Dozing Kai's. So you want to make sure you collect those up on the 8th and on the 15th as they will net you some Dozing Kai's, which will help you save some Elder Kai's later on. Moving on for the exciting autumn special missions, we are looking at, let's see, we have a few dozing Kai's down here, but I do believe we get one Elder Kai for completing 600 stamina. So easy, easy reward. Just play the game, consume 600 stamina. That's like three days worth of stamina if you've got max stamina, and you'll be good to go. So we got one Elder Kai just for playing the game, essentially. Moving on on let's start talking about stages to grind so starting with the shadow dragon saga gt story event not only should you be grinding out stage 14 every day for the skill orbs right down here or 13 rather um there is one elder kai you can receive for unlocking 100 percent of the vegeta juniors uh hidden potential so if this is somebody you haven't grinded out yet um He's an okay free-to-play addition to the GT Heroes team. Um, he's not that great. They have definitely aged out, but I mean, you get an Elder Kai for working on him and it's free hidden potential. You don't have to use any of your orbs. It gives you everything you need. So that's two Elder Kais right there um, that we've got so far. Moving on, we do have the return, well not return, but it has refreshed. The Ultimate Dragon Ball Saga GT story event um, has refreshed, which means you can grind out these metal apples and collect yourselves two Elder Kai's. You'll need to grind out 2,500 of these metals in order to pick up your two Elder Kai's. So we're looking at four Elder Kai's now. Moving on, just like with that, since we do have a bunch of returning GT story events, um, I'll just use the Baby Saga, but there's like three, two different events you can take on that give you the same Hercule medals down here. These Hercule badges can be exchanged in the Baba Shop for two Elder Kai's, just like with the apples, you need 25,000 of them. So we're looking at six Elder Kai's if you've done everything so far. Um, Moving on, uh, the Giru GT story event is back. Um, this is great for me. I need to finish grinding out his super attack. But also, if you activate 100% of his hidden potential, like with the Vegeta, you do get um, one Elder Kai. So that's seven right there. So pretty, pretty awesome deal. Moving on, we have uh, the Ultimate Clash. If you followed my Ultimate Clash and were able to complete Ultimate Clash, um, you are looking at netting yourself one, two, three, four Elder Kai's. That's 11 Elder Kai's so far. That's pretty good, along with some Dozing Kai's along the way. So 11 Elder Kai's just for completing everything I've said so far. Moving on, the last place to get Elder Kai's uh, via participation in events is the Explosive Chain Battle that is coming out um, later in the month. Um, I do believe if we scroll down here to the campaign, this is coming out on the 17th. All right, so towards the end of the campaign. Um, but if you follow my guides, I will be putting out one for this. But if you follow my guides and net yourself uh, 100 million points, you'll be able to collect up to four more Elder Kai's. So you're looking at 15 Elder Kai's there if you get up to 100 million. Now, in the ranking side, as long as you score 21% to 25 or 35%, you're getting at least one Elder Kai. Anything below that, you'll get some Dozing Kais. Um, but if you score in the top 1%, you can get 10 Elder Kais. Now, I'm not going to count those towards the star total because you could fall anywhere on the ranking, right? So just know you could get extra Kais on top of the 15 we're already getting 
just for placing in the top 35%. Okay, moving on, one last place to pick up some Elder Kai's is from the Legendary Challenge campaign. Now, this is separate from the Autumn campaign. This is actually le leading us into Tanabata Thank You Celebration in November. But starting from the... Basically today, if you haven't already grinded out um, the LR STR Vegito, you get them up to Super Attack 20 and you can collect up not only 10 Dragon Stones, but you can also get up 3 Elder Kai's and some incredible Hourglasses. So 18 Kai's from everything that's happening currently during the Ocon Festival Pan campaign. So. Pretty awesome, pretty exciting, um, lots of Kai's, so that'll be definitely be helpful for those of you uh, who are short and leading into Tanabata, where there'll be a bunch of LRs available. Now, moving on, we do have a few extra Grand Kai areas that we can pick up. It, we do have the, oop, not that one, where is it? The Extreme Z battle coming up uh, later this week for the GT Trunks Goku and Pan, and this, as all as with all um, EZA battles, will get you 11 Elder Kai's, or I'm sorry, five five Grand Kai's because it's a LR battle. Um, the it's the normal Dokkan Fest ones that get you the 11, right? So the LR ones will get you five. Um, and I do believe we are also getting another easy A here for the Peppy Gals um, later in the month. I believe this drops at the same time as the Oceanus. And you can get various Kai's uh, depending on what stage you clear. You can get um, 3 Tech, 3 Int, 3 STR, and 3 Fizz from this event. So definitely worth it to pick up some extra Grand Kai's. Now, both Extreme Super Battle Road and regular super battle road hand out the victory's light and the battle mastery in the shop and you can use these to change out for grand kai's or in extreme super battle road you can actually change out for some elder kai's now i won't count them towards our 18 total but if you already spent up all the character slots and the stamina then it wouldn't hurt to go for some kai's if you still have some uh battle mastery left over so Anyways, guys, um, there is a lot of Kai's in this celebration, surprisingly. I did not expect to see that much. So, that's the video, guys. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button. And subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know, how are you doing on Kai's? I'm actually back up to 200 on my end. Um, took me a lot of grinding during Worldwide, but I, I got back uh, most of the Kai's I used. And would love to hear where you guys are at on your Kai totals. Otherwise, guys, as always, thanks for watching. And aloha.